Hi guys and welcome back to Sparajo Madrid. My name is Daniela. I'm showing you a beautiful two-bedroom apartment today in the Barrio de las Letras. I really think you're gonna love it. Come with me. Okay guys, so this would be the view from the front door. So you can see we have this long hallway with this beautiful wooden floors and white walls and it feels very spacious. The ceilings are tall, so it feels really airy. If we look over here, let's start through here. This would be the kitchen. So you can see we have red countertops. Um, let's check it out, let's start button here. We have a microwave, we have the oven, we have plenty of storage space around here. Up here, we have storage space for cleaning supplies, right here and over here. And we also have a very big fridge, as you can see, quite large. And of course, freezer as well, down there. And more storage space there here as well. Over here we have uh, four electric stove tops, uh, the bell to pull out the smoke and vapor, very very big drawers as you can see it's a fully equipped kitchen right here. So there's plenty of storage but you can never have enough it really makes for a tidier kitchen if you have a lot of storage. As you, if you like to cook let it focus, there we go. We have a lot of counter space as well, perfect for you know prepping your meats, your cutting up your veggies. We have a dishwasher, and we have this very interesting two-sided sink. So you can use it here, you can use it here. It's perfect for when the plates stack up. More storage here at the top. So never run out of space really. And as I mentioned, a fully equipped kitchen, so you do have uh, pots and cups and stuff like that. We also have a washing machine right here, further storage over here, well not there. And as you can see we have a little sort of countertop here with a stool for you to eat your meals and you know hang out and definitely more space for uh, cooking, you know meal prepping. So this would be the kitchen right there. Now back to this um, hallway and we come upon the main living area. So right here we have a desk, ignore that black thing under there, that's my bag. We have this really big desk right here in front of this lovely uh, painting and this really nice chair for you to, you know, put your computer and you can work on your art projects or whatever. We have a window over here that goes to an inner patio. That window right there would be the window to um, bedroom number two. If we turn around over, see, over here, we see that we have a dining area, this really nice circular table with wicker chairs, four wicker chairs. Another window over there, this really big, nice circular lamp over here. And over here we have the living area. We have these two um, chairs, which faces this area here. This has some built-in uh, shelving, which are really nice, and a TV over there. We also have those built-in shelves over here. These are really beautiful, and if you fill them up with books and plants, it will look amazing with those white shelves. So let's take a look at the living area. Oh, well, if, if my camera decides to focus, please focus. Mm, come on, there we go. All right, so we have, this is the living area. I was not paying, check out those shelves once more so you can see them just in case they weren't focused. And this would be the main living area. As you can see, it's very, very spacious. We're getting high ceilings. Something really nice about uh, the detailing here is that you have in the corners of the wall, we have, you know, those sconces, I think they're called. So really beautiful. Okay, so we walk through here. We get to bedroom number one. This is the larger of the two bedrooms. It has a double bed. And we also have a two um, night tables right here. Heating right here and a window, also an inner patio. And we also have the clothesline coming through this window. If we turn around, we have a really special detailing here. As you can see, the walls in the closet and also the, ce the ceiling are very of this like rustic material. They're very interesting. Let's see if we can get a close up. As you can see, it has a very, like, special material. It feels sort of fuzzy. And if we open it up, we see that they're actually very spacious um, closets. We have 
some drawers here as well, and a shelf here. And if we open the other side of the fuzzy closet, we see that we have more drawers over here, and that the rack continues from all the way over there. So very large, and that's not counting those cabinets up there. We have some fuzzy cabinets up there. And let's see if I can get the detailing of the ceiling on the camera. But it's sort of like a very textured uh, feel to it. It's actually very nice. It really adds a nice touch to the house. Okay, continuing on, we're crossing right ahead into bedroom number two, smaller of the two uh, bedrooms. This one has a single bed. Something that's really nice about this bed is it has some, you know, um, drawers under it for you to store, you know, whatever you want to store. It would be a clothing or sheets or whatever. We also have a little night table over there with a lamp. And we have a pretty big closet here as well. Take a step back. You see you have all this shelving right here. Close this up. And if we open this side up, there's more space with some big drawers here. Like, I need to open this a little bit better to open them. Because there's even a third door here. So very large. This, um, this house has a lot of storage, which I'm a fan of. And if you look over here, you can see that we have more cabinets up there as well. And if you turn around, we see that we actually have one more cabinet here for just, you know, general storage. You can put a few plants in here. And the window that goes to an inner patio that we saw from the living room. Okay. And then the last but not least, so I really want you to check out these um, doors here. They have some really nice details, like some moldings there. And it just, I don't know, it adds a lot to the apartment. It has really good details. And finally, we have this really big bathroom, as you can see. We have beautiful tile on the floor, as you can see, light blue. We have this enormous sink. Um, over here, there's some space, you know, to put your toiletries and whatnot. We have a big mirror over here. A couple of windows letting in some natural light, which is always nice. A little shelf here for general storage. And if we turn around, we have a bidet and the toilet, of course and heating inside the bathroom as well. There's a bit of a cabinet here as well. So there's more storage in the bathroom. And then we have the shower, which is right here. It's a removable shower head. So you can use it up there or, you know, take it out. And as you can see, it's pretty spacious as well. And just feels lovely in this blue, very relaxing. So this would be the bathroom. And the window goes to this inner patio where the clothesline is. Over there, you can't really see the window over here, but it's the bedroom number one window. And just in case you want to close the blinds, you have blinds over there. So, and that would be the bathroom. And then back again to the main living area, and that would be it. Well, guys, that was it for today. I really hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>